Hey everyone, this is Ken Michaels, and I want to thank you for purchasing SniperBot Pro. In this video, I want to cover how to do a simple search so you can get SniperBot Pro running, generating some quality leads for your business, as well as a walkthrough of some of the options and features that we have so you can navigate through the software. First thing you want to do when you open up SniperBot Pro is go to your search options page, which is the page here right in front of you. Go up to Use, search, uh, use Simple Search. Make sure there's a check mark, put in your keyword and location, go over to your lead data tab and click start. So in just a few seconds we can get SniperBot Pro up and running. If you click start and you get a runtime 70 error, on the tutorial page where you're watching this video, there's a video on how to fix that. All you have to do is change a few permissions and the video walks you through how to do that. If you still have any problems, just you know, submit a support ticket or get with us on the forum and we can help you with that. Also, for your search options, when you put in your location, you can use a city and state, you can use just a state, you could also use an area code or a zip code. So if you do any type of lead brokering, and let's say you have a business that only wants leads from an immediate area you can provide that with our zip code searching because that really allows you to target in on a, um, a small location. So now that we have some leads coming in the grid, let's just take a look at a couple of these columns. The first column we'll look at is type and you see here we have gold, top, silver. That just lets us know what level of service they are paying Yellow Book for. Now, Yellow Book has three levels of service. They have gold, silver, blue. They also have top placement ads and featured ads. So, 80% of your work has already been done. These business, businesses don't need to be sold on the benefit of internet marketing. They already get it. And more importantly, they're already spending money on it. So, we can look over here at our next column, which is backlinks and that will let us know how well that promotion is working for them. So here we see 12 backlinks. Um, here we see 2,000 backlinks for this company. Now if you see 2,000 backlinks or 1,000 backlinks, even 900 backlinks, that lets us know that someone else is probably providing some marketing services for them. If you see someone with 12 backlinks, that's probably a good indicator that they, you know, just hooked up with Yellow Book. Yellow Book sold them. They're all for internet marketing. They're paying Yellow Book and they're hoping for the best. So when we can identify, you know, what businesses here that are already paying for services, and in most cases paying quite a bit, when we can see what type of results they're getting, these make for the perfect leads to call or contact clearly willing to pay money, clearly see the benefit of, of internet marketing, but not getting the results. Keyword is the uh, next column, and then we also have business name. Uh, we also have the phone number. If you see the check mark, the green check mark here, that lets you know that the business was just verified with a yellow book. We also have the email address. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. We have the uh, email address. You'll see the Google icon here. That lets us know that the listing with Yellow Book did not have an email address. So when we went to Google, we got that information for you. We also do the same thing with phone number and, and uh, domain. So if Yellow Book doesn't have it listed, we're going to try to get that information from Google. And if Google doesn't have it, we're going to try to get that information from Bing. So we're, you know, triple checking all of these leads to make sure that the data that we have is accurate and as complete as possible or as complete as can be. The next column over is YB Hosted. This lets you know if they had a website designed and is being hosted by Yellow Book. If you're into any type of design service or have any you know, reseller hosting, take a look at some of these websites and I'm sure you could develop a business model around contacting them. 
because they're just templated websites that they're paying for right now. The next column, Bing Local, lets you know if they just have a Bing Local listing. The same way, uh, same with Google Places. If you see a yes, that means that they do have a Google uh, Places listing. If you see verified, that means that the listing is owner verified. We also have another category which is closed. They're, you know, right there, that's a good business to at least investigate because a lot of times you know, they're not actually closed. It might just be some misinformation or the business relocated. So these businesses aren't aware that, that according to Google, they're showing up as closed. That's a great way to get your foot in the door. And it allows you to stand out from everybody else who's just you know pushing services or pushing their offers. Here you can go to the business with some information that they really need and it really helps your credibility. Next column over is video. I'll just to let you know if uh, Yellow Book has a, created the video and is hosting the video. Now if you have a video promotion service, again, great leads because when they had this video created, they were probably showing their kids, their family, relatives. Uh, you know anybody who they can get to watch because they were excited about the video they probably paid pretty pretty good money for the video so when you can go to them and say hey is your is your video on YouTube they're gonna look at you funny because right now the video is being controlled by yellow book it's on the yellow book listing and it's on their website so if you can provide them a, a video that's maybe better than the one they have and you can actually get it out there for them, which is what they want. Again, great leads to contact. Same with directory, coupon, and menu. If you have, you know, any type of directory listing service that you offer, again, great leads to contact because these are businesses that seize the benefit of having a directory ad and Right now, it's just being controlled by Yellow Book. It's just on the Yellow Book listing. If you could show them a way to get that out there, they're definitely going to listen to you. Next, we have address, city, state, and zip. Standard stuff, so we'll skip it. Here we have domain, and we mentioned before we have the Google icon and the Bing icon here. If we go to Yellow Book and we can't find, you know, the domain listed, we're going to get it from Google. If we can't get it from Google, we'll get it from Bing. Another great way to get your foot in the door because if we get this information from Google, we're going to have this icon here. And if we get it from Bing, we'll have the Bing icon. If you see the Bing icon, that lets you know information was missing from Google. So anytime that you can have missing misinformation or missing information, all that is is an opportunity for you to contact the business to make them aware of it. And if you're coming to them with a problem that they have or can show them a problem they have, you know, they're much more apt to listen to you. Next is keyword and number of keywords. You can use these as an email token. I'm sure, you know, right here we have three keywords at Yellow Book's listing for this business. You could probably think of 30. And I'm sure the business owner could probably think of at least 20 or 30. So, again, great information to have. Yellow Book URL, you can use this as an email token. When you're contacting the business, uh, you can reference where you, you've know, seen their site or seen their listing. And this is the reason why you're getting in touch with them and actually sh you know, show them a link to their site. Just adds a little bit more credibility to your email. The next column over is contact notes. Now with contact notes, you can type right into the field. Actually on any of these fields, you can type right into the field. All you have to do is click on the field, then start to type and you'll see the cursor up here and then you can type in any notes that you want but the contact notes also ties into the address book so just double click anywhere on the grid and that's going to bring you to your address book 
Now your address book here, you'll see we have all the information from the grid. So when you're on the phone talking to a potential client or business, everything's right in front of you. Now you see this white area right here? That's either your contact notes or your phone script. If you right click, you'll see the option to add your script. Just click that and then you can add your script. So everything that you need is right in front of you when you're talking to a potential client. You don't have to look down on separate pieces, pieces of paper. If you need to know what services they're paying for, you can look right here and it clearly you know, shows you visually what services they're paying for. You can see that they have their website hosted with Yellow Book. You can see right here that they're paying for a video. You can see the number of backlinks they have. Also, you can right click in that same contact note area or script area and click show notes. That's going to take you to your contact notes. And you can type in any notes right here, Jim Morris, let's say meeting at two. When you click apply and then go back to your grid, you're going to see that loaded into the grid. So all this information can be exported to Excel or any other spreadsheet or it could be imported back into Cypherbot Pro so if you're someone who has a call room or people who make calls for you or do any type of telemarketing you're going to absolutely love the phone book and again to get to it all you have to do is double click anywhere on the grid you can scroll through your records but you can also get to the phone book by simply right clicking now, SniperBot Pro has an advanced right-click menu. We're going to get to that in the next video. We're going to have a video, you know, just on the right-click menu. That's how many features are in the right-click. So, throughout the program, we have an advanced right-click menu, you know, built in. That's going to be the next video. And then the video after that, we're going to cover doing some advanced searching. So please make sure you watch the videos on the, the uh, tutorial page because we're going to go in everything in depth to make sure that you understand all the features, all the options, and you can get the most out of running SniperBot Pro. If you have any questions, please visit the form. If you have any feature requests or things that you want to add it, my partner Rick, who is the programmer, is also on the forms to answer any questions help you with any support issues, also deal with any you know, possible feature requests or things that you would like to see added. So I look forward to talking to you in the forums. If you have any questions, please let us know.